Hey, what's up? This is Anthony Davis with Shapeshift Wellness. Um, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use my training app. Um, so this is for if you're working with me one-on-one -on -one, or if you are using a program um, of some kind, whether I design that for you individually or you're using a program template um, that you just purchased on your own and you're trying to get started. So here's how to log your workouts and track your progress and all of that, okay? so. Um, one once you get logged in, you create a login, you download, make sure to download the uh, MyPT uh excuse me, my PT hub app. And then once you start to log in, it's going to um, eventually rebrand that icon with my own logo. Um, and so it'll uh, look, it'll have the little goat head there um, as your icon on the app. Once you get logged in, you're going to see this. Now, not all of this is going to apply to everyone. So like, for example, nutrition, you see that you, you, you might not be, um, in a program that uh, gives you nutrition advice, right? So we might just wor be working on the program. So I want you to go to programs because regardless, you're gonna see your program there. Now, right now um, in this, I've got like a little, um, I, um, I've got a yoga challenge that I've just, uh, sort of subscribe to as well. So check that out if you haven't already. Um, I've also got, so pr most likely if I've designed a program for you, it's going to look like this. It's going to say your name. Um, and I just differentiate, you know, I do go by Anthony, but, um, I di differentiate my test accounts like this with, uh, by shortening my name to Tony. So, um, so if I go into, you know, training, and then I can see here, you know, you're going to see essentially, oh, you know, I've got all of these days of training. So it looks like four days a week of training and then you can start your program. Right. And so if I click start the program, then it's going to say, all right, so here's my progress day one of 56, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, what have I got coming up um, this week? Well, I've got all these workouts coming up this week, but first the first day now your program may or may not have uh, these little purple icons here for updating your measurements or your progress photos and whether it does or it does not have that stuff you can still uh, choose to or choose not to update your uh, measurements in terms of you know muscle size or weight or waist circumference or things like that um, or take progress photos it's it's really up to you whether or not you want to track those things okay some people want to track that some people do not want to track that uh, that's your choice but you can update measurements if you wanted to um, so you you know, here's, for example, all of, you know, the major areas. If I were tracking muscular growth, I could do that. Um, and I could track my weight in there as well. And if I wanted to upload photos, I could uh, choose a photo, for, you know, and I could just take a photo inside the app and boom, there we go. Now I've got day one. Here's what I'm looking like. And what do I look like in 12 weeks from now or, or whatever, in this case, eight weeks from now. And you might notice some progress. Uh, you don't have to track that though. Uh, okay. So, all right, let's say it's day one and I want to log this workout. So I pull, I, um, pull up this here. This workout is called pull endurance one. Um, and I want to start the workout. So cool. I start it. It's going to load up your workout. Now, um, some of the exercises. So here you can see are all these exercises and, uh, some of them are from a large library, uh, that you'll see here, for example, uh, this, you know, video is a, uh, a library that I have access to that now you have access to. Um, these are not, this is not me performing this activity, but that doesn't matter. This is a very standardized exercise. So I did not feel the need to, uh, film a custom video explaining it. Uh, you, if you want to ask questions or you have questions on any of these exercises, you can always reach out to me in the chat function of this app. Um, if you have questions, okay. So if you um, feel comfortable, okay, body weight bridges, right? I basically know how to do that. So what I'm asking here is you can see that in this little blue right here, so you can see log RPE. That's what I want you to do here. So I've asked you to do 20 reps, 20 bridges, and I want you to click here and tell me what was your RPE that is rated perceived exertion. And what that means is how many, essentially uh, if it's a scale of one to 10 and 10 is a hundred percent effort, then, um, you know, was 20 bridges, was that your maximum effort? In that case, you would scroll down and you put a 10. If it was like 80% of your maximum effort, then you put an eight. Okay. 
Um, another way of thinking about that is how many reps could you have done beyond 20? Could you have done two more reps and that's it? That would be an RPE of eight. All right, so if you could have done five more reps, it would have been an RPE of five. If you could have done seven more reps, that would have been an RPE of three, okay? If you could have just gone on all day, that's an RPE of zero. So you log your RPE and then make sure to click this little button right here. This is very important. Please click this and that tells, uh, that logs that you did this exercise. And over time, you're gonna get graphs that show your progress. And, uh, and if you don't click uh, the little checkbox, then I don't know that you did that especially if you're working with me one-on-one -on -one, I need to know what you actually logged and what you did not perform maybe I told you to do um, three sets but three sets was too hard and uh, or it was too much time or whatever and you could only do two sets so you log two sets here and then you can click the little three buttons and add a note and you could say um, three sets was too much uh, time you know okay cool save there we go. So now I know that on my end, if I'm working with you one-on-one, -on -one, okay? So I can modify your future program uh, because you left me a note. But if you don't leave me a note, I don't know. And then if you, uh, you see here, I have a rest time of 30 seconds. Down in the bottom left, you have this timer and I can say, oh, I wanna set my timer to 30 seconds and start. Okay, so now it's counting down. So blah, blah, blah. Let's say we get to the end of that 30 seconds. It's gonna beep and tell me I'm done. Now it's time for me to do my next uh, set. Okay, now, now sometimes you'll see a superset or a giant set, which means there's an exercise here. A, a, it's an inverted uh, pull-up, basically. Um, and then you've got a, a, a dumbbell rear delt flies. So, okay, so in these cases, you're using, uh, in the second case here, you're using weight. Let's use this example. So now, uh, now it says zero pounds, but that's not what I want you to do. Read the note, and the note here says log weight at given RPE. So if I say use an RPE of six, that means that you could have done four more reps at whatever weight you choose. So if you pick up two five pound weights, if you pick up five pound weights and you do 15 reps, you feel like you could have done four more. If you don't feel like you could have done four more, then you picked up too much weight. Or if you feel like you could have gone on all day at five pounds, then you need to pick up heavier weight so that you get to an RPE of six. So it might be a little trial and error. You might do the first rep at five, and then you're like, oh, that was too easy. And then you do the second rep and you log it at, um, you know, okay, then I tried 10 pounds and that was still too easy. And then you try 15 pounds, that was about right, okay? Um, actually, for this exercise, most people are gonna have a pretty hard time with 15 reps at fi uh, 15 pounds on each arm. But the point is you, you see that and then you, you log that exercise, okay? So read the instructions, do that, blah, blah, blah. All right, so you get to the end and then you make sure you click finish workout. Okay, and then it's gonna tell, okay, so here I didn't log, there's a lot of stuff I did not log. Um, and so I just, I'm, I'm done, this is all I wanted to do. So uh, that was too long. Uh, oh, that was way too much stuff. So I, I, you know, okay, great. Now I have the feedback or, or it was great or whatever you wanna say, okay. So, and then I can click finish and it tells me that I have logged uh, a workout. Yay, I did it, pull endurance one, I did it. Cool. So then it has a little check mark. And then over time, you're going to start to see your uh, progress, right? So if I go into, uh, if I check this out again, so if I, if I go into the workouts that I have, um, ac ac oh, I don't want to do it that way. So if I go back to the home page and I go to workouts, and, or I should go to exercises probably. Um, if I go, no, let's go to workouts. So if I go to workouts and I pull up um, full body pull. Okay, so body weight bridges, no, 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 let's do um, barbell deadlifts, details. Oh, I think you have to do it when you're actually in an activity. So you can pull up your history when you actually are logging a workout. So if I go in here and I click start workout um, and I want to see like, what's my history? So if, you're, if I'm trying to say like, oh, well, how heavy was I lifting? Then I can go into history 
and then I can go and I can see, oh, okay, so what I've been doing is I'll do multiple reps at, you know, between, uh, okay, so my RPE of seven was uh, 135 pounds. So I can see a history in here of my workout by clicking on the workout itself or the exercise. And then, um, oh, and, uh, sorry by clicking on the exercise, uh, the little buttons next to it and looking at the history. Okay. And if you ever need to swap out an exercise, you can swap an exercise if that one wasn't too, um, enough for you. So you can do that. Um, and th that's pretty much all the major functionalities here. So I just want to point out the chat so you can, uh, you can always click on my name and you can chat with me. If you have questions, you can see your workouts in a calendar view as well. You can see what's coming up for you. Um, and it's important that you go into settings and go to feature settings and units of measurement and make sure that it's in pounds and inches if you're in the United States, because it will default, I think, um, to metric uh, units. So if you don't want metric, go into your settings and change that. That's all the main stuff. If you want to buy programs, go to the marketplace and you can see, um, you can always buy packages and credits and um, programs. If you view all, you can see like, here's a 30 day yoga challenge. So you can sign up for that. Um, all that stuff is in there. That's about it. Uh, I hope that answers some questions. It gets you going. Good luck. Reach out if you have questions. See you next time.